We're going to dip into the White House briefing room. Uh, Peter Ducey is questioning Kareem Jean-Pierre. You all reported it. You all saw it. He was with uh, he was with the chief, Chief Owens, I believe. The chief, who was in charge for two years before that, said, I've never had one conversation with the president or the vice president. How is that possible? So one thing I will say about Chief, uh, you're talking about Chief Ortiz. This is Chief Ortiz. Yeah. So he was invited, I believe, to participate in the president's first trip uh, visit to El Paso, which was back in January of 2023, and he did not attend. He was invited. Well, he was invited. He is. He did not attend. What I can say is that you saw you saw the president with the present chief, which I think is important because we are dealing with challenges at the border. Because the president has take make that a priority, worked with the Senate in a bipartisan way to come up with a way to move forward on the border on immigration. Republicans rejected it because of what the former president Donald Trump told them to do. Told them to reject that uh, proposal. So the president is going to continue to be steadfast focus on an issue that majority of the American people care about, which is the border. Let's not forget, if that policy had went into law, uh, it would have been the toughest and the fairest uh, bipartisan border security agreement in decades, in decades. And last one, yeah. will President Biden publicly address Lake and Riley's murder, allegedly at the hands of an illegal immigrant who was released by law enforcement multiple times on Thursday night. I know he's got a statement, but what about at the State of the Union? Look, let me, I, I do want, this is such a tragic uh, story and uh, obviously situation. Um, <clears throat> this is someone's life that was lost, so I do want to always acknowledge and extend our deepest condolences uh, to to her family and to her friends and the people who, who loved her. And so want to always be sure to say that and uh, because it's so tragic. Uh, Look, um, I don't have anything to share about the president's speech as it relates to that particular question that you have. Uh, but we, you know, we want to always, uh, always be sure that we left, lift up the families who have lost their loved ones in that way. And I would reiterate, you just asked me um, about the Border Patrol uh, chief. The president was just there with the current chief, uh, Owens. The president went to uh, the border, obviously, Bronville, Texas, to lift up the importance of doing something, of doing something at the border. And I would be remiss if I did not continue to say that Republicans rejected a bipartisan proposal that came out of the Senate. And so if they truly, truly cared about what was going on at the border, if they truly cared about this immigration policies and trying to fix that, trying to move forward in a step in a way where we have a tough and fair uh, law, they would work with us on it. They wouldn't listen to the former president, who is clearly telling them to reject, telling Republicans to reject it for, their, for his own political gain. And that's shameful. That's truly shameful. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.